This is an Abaco valve being rebuilt. We have the top half and we have the pouch half. We're using plastic glue. As you can see there, a pre-cut pouch, setting it down, make sure you can get it centered as best you can, then take our valve center, press, and there you have it. I'm going to take this, this, and put it over with the rest of them, right there. And those are the ones I've done so far. Now, you have your valve. You have your pouch set in the bottom of your of your uh, Ampico valve, and what you want to do is punch out nine sixteenth size pieces of tape. You set it in the center of your pouch, just like that. Then you take rubber cement and just a dab on your finger. You want to rub it in the leather, do not get any on the wood, okay, and once that sets up, you want to take Johnson & Johnson baby powder only, unscented, sprinkle it on the pouch, after that, and then rub it around blow it off and then remove your piece of tape peel it off then you'll have a bare spot where you can put your center piece of new cardboard that was in the original pouch you don't want to reuse the old ones because they are warped okay but once you've got that you glue it down with your plastic glue in the center and then you're ready to close this up with hot glue. And that'll be next on the other video. Thank you. Here's your Amico valve lock. Now that we've glued the pouches, I've already removed the small piece of tape from my leather pouch after it's been I had um, rubber cement on it. Then some baby powder. And now we're going to put in our center discs, which are three quarter inch in diameter, and they are the equivalent to 20 thousandths of thickness. That's two of them in my hand. So here's what you do take your plastic glue, put a small dot, take your disc. Place it in the center and press. That's it. Next video, we'll be gluing the blocks together and clamping them. This is how you glue the Ambico valve blocks together. Hot glue in a bottle. Okay. You take your Ambico block see here you want to glue just around the bare spaces don't get any glue inside here or in here or anywhere where it's shellac okay lightly get your glue on there you want to work quickly make sure you line it up Okay, and it's level. Take four clamps. One clamp in the front. Making sure it's even and level still. One clamp in the back. Now as you see it squeezed it. You think it's it's red, it's good? No. Take another clamp. Clamp on the side. Take another clamp. Clamp on the side. Let that set for 24 hours. Do not disturb it. Okay. 
You can stack them up, up to 10 in height, and let it set overnight. And once you're done, you can go on to your next step, which is doing the Bakelite valve facings, which, if you're lucky, they pop out. If they pop out, then it's a good time to get a flat piece of glass, glue on two pieces of sandpaper. One is a 200 grit and one is a 400 grit. That'll, come, that'll be coming up in the next uh, step. Thank you. This is my pile mess. Now, here we have the inner valve facing, which is the big light. And then we have the outer facing to the valve, which is brass. Okay, you all seen this before. Okay. Just give you an example. With the bake light, you think it's flat. You're wrong. First I have 220, and over here I have 400 grit sandpaper. I'll take it. Do one pass. Now if you look, see the shiny spots? That's telling me that the bake light is not level. That would cause the valve to leak. Okay, so what we do is keep sanding in a circular motion until all the shiny is gone. Then we come over to the 400 grit do that a couple passes and now it's flat and ultra smooth so when the valve sits on that you'll get a excellent uh, seal as for the top seats which I've got to wash first in methanol to get rid of that and clean them up this is what happens you take one And look, it's not that flat. So we will circular part again. We look again. Okay, it's flat. We'll come over to here now to the 400 grit. Give it a nice, good pressing and rubbing. And there we go. Nice and shiny and smooth. That's how it's done. You do that with all of those, and you will have a perfect seal with your valves when you're done. Thank you for watching, and this is how you rebuild Epico valve blocks.